Ryan Salazar here with Broadcast Feed, and we've got a special guest, James Edershaw from ShotoQ. How are you doing, James? Very well, Ryan. Thank you. Uh, so tell us about what ShotoQ does, and, and I think you guys just had a 70th anniversary, right? That's right. This year is our 70th, believe it or not. Um, and so that's a pretty big year. We had a big celebration at uh, NAB, particularly, and we're kind of trying to carry that on throughout the year. So um, we'll be seeing more discussions about that at IBC, and uh, whenever we get a chance, we celebrate. I'm looking uh, at some notes that I've got here, um, mm. and it, it mentions that you guys are involved with some robotics as well? Exactly. So basically, ShotEQ is, as, as we just said, 70 years old. We clearly haven't been doing robotics for 70 years, but we've been doing a lot of precision mechanical engineering systems, whether that be for broadcast, whether it be for aerospace or, or wherever they need that kind of specialist engineering. Um, with robotics, particularly that in the last 10 years, we've been here in the UK set up and we are doing here in the UK basically the robotic side of the business. So anything to do with remote control cameras, whether that's very simple, small pan tilt heads, right up to, as we'll see, fully robotic pedestals, rail systems, and systems for governments and parliaments as well. So yeah, we, we do everything to do with camera support. Excellent. And so do you provide uh, other types of products other than the robotics? I assume since robotics haven't been around for that long. Of course, yeah. So as I say, so 10 years has been very much the sort of uh, robotics focus here in the UK. But for that, for the years before that, it was very much anything to do with camera support manually. We call that manual camera support. So that might be a tripod, it might be a pan tilt head, it might be a large studio pedestal, air balanced, and ShotEQ is quite well known as well for cranes small cranes, big cranes, uh, wherever they're needed. I, I also saw a note of, that you guys have some virtual reality, reality tracking systems or something that's involved with that, is that right? Very much, so as a part of that, so obviously the, 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 the natural progression when you're using shot at you pan tilt heads, tripods, pedestals in a studio, when virtual reality comes along, the key thing is you've got to be able to move that camera. It's easy to do VR or chroma key in a studio when the camera is fixed, that's not really VR. Um, so to make it VR, you really need to move the camera. And to do that and to keep the illusion, you have to be able to track the camera's position very precisely. And uh, we've been doing that as ShotEQ for, for many years, whether it be on manual, tripod, pedestal, as I said, or crane, or in robotics. So that applies to both product types. And uh, yeah, I think uh, you know we are quite well known as one of the leading VR suppliers. IBC show is is just weeks away at this point. Yeah, first of all, it's a very big show for us. It always has been. NAB and IBC are very important shows for us, um, and this IBC will be no different. We are certainly launching a product there, which we can talk about, which is called 3D, 3D2, and it is part of that virtual reality tracking solution we were just talking about. So. That is a system somewhat different to the traditional tracking systems we've been supplying. This one um, is based on some pretty advanced technology using a camera which is looking for markers in the ceiling. And from that information, it's able to work out precisely where the studio camera is. And that covers X, Y, height of the camera. It covers pan tilt, zoom focus, obviously. But crucially as well, it can cover roll of the camera. Now, what that really means is you can take the camera off any kind of camera support and you can put it on a steady cam, for example, or on your shoulder. It can be handheld and still be tracked. And obviously, that's something which is uh, not possible to do with, with a robotic system or with a, with, a, with a manual pedestal. So we're very excited about that. It's a technology which is not exactly new. It has, it's a technology which was originally developed by the BBC over here in the UK. Um, in their research and development team. It was developed in the mid, late 90s and was very successful at that time. But then the market moved on, virtual reality became less common worldwide, I would say, but that has definitely changed in the last three to five years. VR has really come back, not just VR, but AR, augmented reality. Um, and all of these things have meant that it's time to revisit that 3D technology, that 3D algorithm, if you like, and, and bring it up to date. And that's exactly what we've done. And we'll be, as I say, showing that at, at IBC. There will be other things on show. So across the robotics, lots of new things there as well. Um, and on the manual side as well, TP500, which is a very 
new lightweight studio pedestal, OB pedestal, very nice. We showed that at, our, at NAB and great, great interest in that. Parliaments and legislatures are using your equipment, is that right? Exactly right. So particularly in the robotics, that's a very big, it varies year to year, but it's always a big part of our business. Um, sometimes half the business uh, is, is supplying pan and tilt heads, basically, to government's parliament. So the US Senate, the House of Reps, they're using Shotoku uh, pan tilt heads, control systems. Uh, most of the parliaments across Canada are using Shotoku now all over Europe as well. So it's really a big part of our business. And it, it's a sign that, you know, anyone who's looking for the quality that we provide. So, you know, we're not into, this is not a CCTV pan and tilt head. That's, that's clear. It's a broadcast quality. It's extremely reliable. It has a, has a good payload capacity. And the motion is very, very smooth. So you really can pan tilt, zoom focus the camera almost invisibly to the viewer. And that's the key point. And so it's, it's generally the national, national governments, international governments, so uh, European Parliament is using our equipment, the UK Parliament, um, many more around the world. And I assume that your equipment is used in, uh, in, in large sporting events and, and venues like that, right? Right, yeah, um, particularly on the manual side. So clearly, you know, any sort of OB application is going to need tripods, heads, pedestals, you know, for the payloads that they have at these big events. So that's that's a big part of the business. On robotics, um, we have a number of solutions which work in, in those kind of environments. But generally speaking, that's a kind of rental business area. Um, so, and our products, as I mentioned before, are aimed at the sort of day in, day out, very, very high capability, very high reliability, um, operations. So we see a little bit less of the robotics in a sports stadium. There are other solutions which are geared towards that sort of turn up, rig it, take it away situation. But we certainly have products which do that. We happen to have some some Lumens robotics cameras uh, in this facility and, and this uh, it's by Rushworks. It's called the V-Desk Switcher. It allows oh. us to control those over actually PTZ. But um, as far as is a as a large scale robotic camera system, how are they controlled? So so you have the, at least on your on your controller device, is it some sort of a, um, is it PTZ or is it something similar? And do they have a joystick or something? Uh, yeah. So it, obviously we have a range. So from our simplest panel, it really is a sort of desktop box with a. With a all of our systems will have a precision joystick, a three axis joystick, pan tilt zoom. Um, and then there'll be some sort of rotary control for focus. That's the absolute minimum. Um, but always you'll have with that a number of buttons, push buttons for modes and speeds and other, other functions that you need. Um, that's the simplest one. But if you take that up, you then go through a number of mid-range panels, our B panel, uh, which gives you up to eight or 16 cameras can be connected to that single panel. Um, and it'll give you 10 stored shots for each camera, that kind of thing. Then you have the next one, the S panel, that's bigger. That's very much uh, targeted towards parliaments and legislatures, as we talked about. So that has a very high shot capacity, um, nearly a thousand shots per camera, um, but the same kind of joystick, the same precision movement. And then you get into the broadcast world, stu TV studio broadcast, where you're looking at one of our TRT systems. And that is a combination of a panel and a touchscreen. So there you're talking about much more of a software GUI involved as well, but you still have that core hardware panel. And you know, we've always felt that's very important because for all the nice things on the software GUI, it's very important that you have a hardware panel with a joystick that you can grab hold of and move that camera when you really need to. Um, but on the GUI, you get lots of bells and whistles. You can, you can recall shots, store shots, you can link shots together into complex motions. All the things you, you'd expect. You guys are used at some major networks and some pretty big U.S. companies as well, right? Exactly. Yeah, we. Uh, you know, it's fair to say we're a little bit less known in North America at the moment than we are across Europe and the rest of the world. But um, you know, that's that's not true. We've got some big systems deployed over there. We've been working with, for example, Time Warner Cable for many years. We've got a lot of systems uh, on the East Coast, right down through New York, North Carolina studios as well. So that's a big customer for us. And of course, worldwide, we're, we're a supplier to QVC, the shopping channel. And these are a very large broadcast organization. Um, shopping TV is always a big part of our business anyway. Um, QVC is certainly one of the biggest in the world. And we're very pleased to be in the middle of 
really installing and, and commissioning a large system there uh, in the US, having done studios in the UK, Italy, and, and uh, Japan as well. So great customer for us. And where are you located at, James? Uh, well, we're just outside London here in the UK. Wow, all the way from London. So, so again, everybody, James Edershaw from uh, Show2Q all the way in London. Have a great day. Thank you very much.